Yeah, I think it was really good for us, especially uh, when they made the run and we were able to execute down the stretch. So uh, it was a good win. Uh, glad we got one after the, after the last one, for sure. Talking about that last one, what was it like hitting that, that game-tying bucket at the end of regulation? What does that do for your confidence? Yeah, no, it was a, it was a cool experience um, just knowing that uh, you, I'm able to execute down the stretch and uh, be able to keep my push down the stretch. Um, but at the end of the day, we tied it, so it wasn't a game winning shot or anything like that. So it was um, just trying to keep my composure for the, for the overtime. What's this opportunity been like for you to play against some of these other top lottery picks in back to back days here? Yeah, I think it's a good experience for me. I'm um, just being able to get my, get my feet under myself again, just being able to play five on five, live action. Um, play against really, really good players, so it's been it's been good for me and my confidence, uh, and just uh, just really take everything in the, into consideration. So, what, what impressed with you with how you guys played battling through adversity today? Yeah, I think they made runs, we made runs, um, and I think the big thing for us is that we executed down the stretch. Um, and we were able to do different things, uh, switch different laps, and guys were able to have confidence and hit shots and get stops. Keegan, when you go back and you look at film, like how critical are you of yourself and what you do, and what's like one of the first couple things? you look at that hope stands out on tape? Yeah, yeah, I'm never ever satisfied in what I do on the court. I always know that I can get better. I know that I have a lot of room of uh, improvement um, right now. And uh, for me, I just try and nitpick uh, little things, um, little things I do offensively, little things I do defensively. And I watch film a lot with uh, the guys uh, with the Kings, with our summer league coaches. So it's been it's been good uh, to see myself on film and learn from it. Of those nitpicks, what what are what are some of the ones that, that you've identified already? Yeah, just uh, different reads on offense, uh, being able to find the guys in the corner, um, things like that, and uh, being able to defensively the rotations, um, different techniques, things like that. Just to uh, make myself better defensively. I mean, it's, it seems like you've kind of been starting slower and then getting better as the game's going on. What's what's your read? Am I off or are you noticing that? No, no. I For me, I just want to see what's going on in the game. Uh, I know that, especially this game, uh, we had a lot of guys going early. Frankie hit a lot of threes early. And um, at that point, I just want to get a feel for the game and uh, keep feeding the hot hand. And uh, the hot hand wasn't me at that point. Um, but I was just able to, able to put, they were able to get the ball in my hands down the stretch and I was able to take over the game in the fourth. What have you learned about Nimi on and, and off the court? What's he like to be around? Yeah, he's a he's a really cool guy. Um, just to be around, um, a guy that I've really connected with off the court. Um, and on the court, uh, I feel like he's just scratching the surface of what he can be. Um, athletic, um, being able to. Uh, you, there's a sequence where you block two shots in one possession, so you could just see the um, what, what he can be. And I feel like he's just got a lot more improvement. He's really good right now too. And also your rebounding, I guess, similar to college, you've been almost double digit rebounds each game or held until today. Just talk about those things. Yeah, yeah, I know that I can affect the game in different ways. Um, today, I felt like I didn't get as many rebounds, but I affected a lot of the rebounds. Um, it, that was tip out or anything like that. I feel like I affected it. Um, it doesn't show up on the stats or anything like that. But for me, I just try to keep my composure um, when the game's riled up, to stay composed, stay at my pace. I know that good things will happen eventually. Looking back at yesterday, was that about one of the most kind of wild experiences you've had on a basketball court? I think it was up there. I think it was up there, yeah. Yeah, just the atmosphere, um, just down the stretch what was occurring. So I think that was a really cool experience to have, especially just going to the NBA and going in the, those atmospheres. So for me, that I felt like that was, that was a really fun game. And that experience against Paulo, just what did you make of that matchup for you? And you mentioned how it was kind of a first time for you. Yeah, yeah, it was, he's a really good player. Um, so for me, I just want to put my best foot forward. And um, he made tough shots. I made tough shots, um, but we're both competitors. Um, and on the court, uh, we, we we fought, and that was I think that was really cool and a really big thing for us in our competitive nature. Okay, you've, gone from, you've gone from the draft to um, California Classic, now here you've got a bunch of games. How's the grind part of, of things going for you? Are you starting to feel that a little bit? I missed it, if anything. I feel like that I just missed the grind of um, playing a lot of games, practicing all the time. I just missed that grind, and that was I did, right now I'm just having fun. That is the biggest thing right now. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you.